So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. It's locked, all right. was the vampire I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners.
The West End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. The Ascalon Clock, the heart of British vampire society. Not quite as subtle as I expected. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. 
Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. There has been quite a battle here. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. It's locked. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Here, here, here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? Yes, she is. I may even say I admire her probity and her kindness. She has helped me since I was reborn. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this skull plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why are you suddenly so friendly? The last time I met one of yours, he tried to kill me. Are you referring to Fergal? He was the most useful of servants, but he was just a servant. You, on the other hand, Doctor, proved yourself much more worthy. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End. Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? How dare you speak so flippantly of my family? Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club, and to serve me as such. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, 
Please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed. In front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes, I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! I that went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale. Especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparrow. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic. And your findings were quite alarming. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed, but for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. I have met peaceful and wise Skulls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Skulls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. I won't put a foot outside until the pre-went in their hunt. 